Hi, is that the air today? I haven't got my grumpy face on today. I'm going to tell you a story. You probably won't believe it, but it is true. <coughs> it, uh, it's the year of the 60th anniversary of the Queen, the Diamond Jubilee. It's also the Olympic Games backing in England <coughs> for the f since 1948. And uh, this is a little thing that happened to me when I was in the Merchant Navy. It's regarding the Royal Yacht and the Prince Philip, the Duke of Edinburgh. For the 1956 Melbourne Olympics, the in those days, uh, the royal family travelled on the Royal Yacht. They didn't fly. And I was on a ship called the Wave Chief, which was a member of the Royal Fleet Auxiliary, and our job was to keep topping her up with fuel, refueling her so she didn't run out, because it's quite a long journey from here to Melbourne. My job on the, on the tanker was a distance line. That is a line with a, a lot of labels and different colored labels and knots on it that we were able to tell how many fathoms was between the two ships because we didn't want to collide. And if we got too close, I would have to call out and pass a message. At that time, I was only a 17 year old deck boy. And I suspect I may be the only member of the crew that's still alive. I may be wrong, but the lot, <coughs> the only one I know is alive is the Duke of Edinburgh, and he's 90, and seamen don't live that long. <laughs> uh, I gave up after six years and did something else. But uh, <coughs> Prince Philip would get the Royal Marine Band up on the deck of the Royal Yacht whenever we came alongside, and... Uh, had them play rock and roll music for us. Now, I myself am not a royalist. In fact, I'm probably anti-royalist, or at least I was in those days, but uh, <coughs> I have stories to tell about the royal family that uh, might surprise you. Um, my next video will be one about the Queen when she was a young 17-year-old princess. And I was a seven-year-old boy, because <laughs> she's ten years older than I am. <coughs> anyway, <coughs> we uh, fueled the Royal Yacht. We went round. We did. Uh, we did Wellington, Christchurch, Dunedin, Auckland of New Zealand. We then went to Australia, visited Australia, uh, Melbourne, Sydney, uh, Fremantle. <laughs> And Adelaide, <coughs> um, all this time with the with the Royal Yacht. After that, uh, <coughs> we went uh, across the Pacific to the Falkland Islands, and uh, we were in Port Stanley <coughs> on New Year's Day, and uh, all the banks were closed, so nobody. F members of the, none of us crew could get any money but we went ashore anyway somebody must have said something because we couldn't buy a drink we couldn't buy anything there was a, a dance held in honor of the Duke of Edinburgh and he was there and the girl that I'd gone with <coughs> she said to me I wonder I wonder if he'd dance with me and I said to her Knowing him, if you ask him, he'll say yes. And she went up to him, and a minute later, she was there dancing with him. <laughs> you may not believe it, or you may believe it, but it's true. Um, I've always said on Elsa films, we only tell the truth, whether it's good or bad. And uh, also, while we were in Melbourne, I'm a great cricket fan. And uh, I was able to catch a glimpse of the test match between England and Australia at Melbourne from a car <laughs> and uh, I don't know whether this story would be of interest to anybody but if any of my 
friends, followers, uh, subscribers <coughs> see this, would you please tell your friends, pass it on to as many people as you can, tell them to pass it on, and uh, there'll be more stories like this. And uh, <coughs> I hope we have a wonderful Olympic Games. And uh, I hope the country benefits from it, but I'm very, very suspicious about it. Um, it isn't like it was in 1956. The professionals, and in those days, you had to be a rank amateur. You had to have a job to go in the Olympics. So things have changed a lot. Well, that's all I have to say on the matter. And I wish you all the best of luck during the summer. And there'll be more stories about the royal family, etc. <laughs> and uh, the aristocracy that uh, <clears throat> when I have a little bit of time. Unfortunately, because of my arthritis condition, I'm not able to spend a long time sitting here. Uh, my back is starting to wake already, so I'm going to have to close. Thank you for watching this video and please pass it on to any of your friends. Goodbye.